coach on the road here in Van Buren. Thoughts on the game tonight? Well, it was a nice bounce back win after a, a tough, tough night on the road at Lake last night. Um, we were really focused today in our pregame prep on defense, rebounding, and then consistently pushing the ball and playing faster. Um, when we play up tempo, we're hard to guard, and we shared the basketball really well again tonight. Um, you know, when you're shooting 54% from twos, um, you're going to win a lot of games. Um, I mean, there's just no doubt about it. Um, you know, Van Buren came with a real good game plan, and we, we were concerned because they're big and physical. Um, but I thought we did a really nice job of, of really containing them in the, in the paint and making them get things from the perimeter. Um, but overall, really good, really good effort from our guys, and we got real good production you know, off, off of our bench. Um, Ryan, Ryan O'Neill and Gavin Miller came in and, and really gave us really quality minutes, and, and that was huge. You know, we've got, a, we've got a tough stretch here. You know, we played last night, we played tonight, we played Monday, we played Tuesday, we played Friday. You know, we came off a, a stretch where we played, you know, four games in six days, and now we're literally playing five and seven. Um, you know, that's, that's not the way you want to end the year um, going into the tournament. However, you know, congrats to Elmwood on their football success, but, you know, this is a rescheduled game because of their football playoff run for Monday night. Um, you know, but we're looking forward to our guys just really coming out. And, um, you know, it's the last time we play Elmwood in the league. It's senior night. You know, it's going to be a battle. We know that, but, you know, we're looking forward to it. Awesome. And in the fourth quarter, um, Van Buren was within four or five. Uh, what was going through your mind when they're catching up and then Makai stepping up, getting those uh, – Foul shots there at the end. Well, I thought the big, I thought the big thing we needed to do was just stay real solid on our defense. I mean, they got a couple of threes because we just didn't get <clears throat> matched up with guys that got good open looks from three. And um, you know, we took a timeout um, and, and just really, really wanted to focus on continuing to go back to the base defense that we had played early and get those stops. And, and we did a nice job of that. And then by having that lead. You know, then we forced them to have to come and get us. And, you know, we wanted the ball in Makai's hands because, you know, he's shooting over 80% from the free throw line on the year. Um, and he's a knockdown guy. Um, and, that, you know, that's what, that's what we need is, uh, you know, we need that kind of, uh, you need that kind of shooting and, and leadership that, um, you know, Makai has really, really stepped up um, in his all-around game. I mean, he was always a good scorer, but he is just relentless on defense. He's attacking the rim. Um, and he's, he's also trying, like he told me tonight just a few minutes ago, like, Coach, I want to really do everything I can to keep our guys' confidence up. You know, and that's, that's the kind of kid that, that you want, you know, down the stretch in the fourth quarter with the ball in his hands that we make the right decisions and do the right things. So and that showed off and paid off tonight. Oh, it sure did. And, I mean, the guys, the guys stuck to the game plan at the end. You know, we had a, we had a lead. We wanted to be patient. Um, we made it, wanted to make them come get us. We went, went to our spread game. We got a nice feed to Ferg in the paint, you know, for a layup. And, uh, you know, and that really set the tone for us to be able to do what we did in the last minute and a half. Makai, fourth quarter, up by five, with three minutes left. What was going through your mind to keep the offense going? And then you started getting a bunch of fouls on you and making those uh, foul shots there at the end to help Foster win the game. Uh, I just really wanted to win this one because last night, we lost to a team we shouldn't have lost to, and everybody was angry, and we just wanted to come out and work. And those last three minutes, everybody gave it their all, and we went out and got the win. Now, with the win tonight, what's your uh, momentum going into senior night on Monday? We feel very confident. We just got to stay consistent. I feel like we can play like that every single night, and that's what we need to do. Feels good to get another win, and I want to keep the streak going and go get a win on senior night from my brothers. All right, thanks, Makai. Game following a loss last night. You and Makai were able to get the team going offensively. You had a couple dunks in the game, but ultimately in the fourth quarter, you're up by five. What was going through your mind there at the end there? What was going through my mind was just to execute, run plays through, because at the beginning of the game, we were kind of taken off. We would go one-on-one -on -one at some point, and when it comes down to close games like that, it just comes down to who executes the best in, in half-court sets. And that's what we did. We did a really good job of running six out, keeping them spaced, and getting the job done. Also, what is your thoughts going into senior night on Monday? 
after that football went on senior night, it was so much fun watching our seniors celebrate. I, I would love to just live that through again and just make Aiden Harpster and Chaz happy. Send them out with the win. Awesome.